Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I thought I would do just a quick video on my makeup hang-ups. And <clears throat> I thought this would just be a silly little video, and I've got a little note where I just was, <coughs> you'll have to excuse right, me, I'm just still full of cold. I went to the doctor this week and had her look at my ears because my ears were just hurting and ringing when I lay down at night, and she said they both looked perfect. So I said, well, what do I do, you know? And she said, well, just do the Claritin at night, and I'm also doing my Flonase, and it's just, I'm still just full of it, so excuse me for that. <clears throat> but one thing, too, I wanted to, I've been meaning to do this, this is going to be a combo video. So many of you told me when I was bragging on the Glenda Naked Pencil, you told me that it was just like the Urban Decay Pencil, you told me it was like the Naked, and so I thought I would do a swatch. Um, Okay, so the, this is the Glenda. And then um, this is the Naked. And they are basically the same. I would say the Glenda might have a little bit more of a rosy tone and a little bit more pigment. That's what I thought each time that I did this. But if you wanted the Glenda pencil, then the Naked would be a good one. I love both of them. And just looking at them here, the um, the Glenda has more color. That's what I would say. Okay, so I wanted to show you that. And then I also wanted to show you that Charnel lipstick that I got. Um, she was holding it for me and I got it on Friday. And it's one of these that I have been loving. It's the Rouge Dior, <coughs> Rouge Dior Nude. I'm so sorry, that is terrible. And um, the number is 459. And it's just a real pretty, I hate to say peachy pink, it's more of just like a pretty, just mid-tone kind of sweet pink. And you could probably bump it up or down with your liner, but I like it just on its own. It's really, really pretty, real easy to wear. And so I'll take that off. And um, so, let's see. Okay, my first hang up would be my lip glosses upside down. I know that the best way, and I see you guys with your lip glosses stored in like little boxes and stuff like that so you can see the names, but I have a hang up thinking that one, that they're going to either goo out of the top, even if they're on tight, or I feel like, well, then the lip gloss isn't going to be on the applicator, so I still cannot store my lip glosses upside down, and I probably should. This is underage, and I have it on today, and um, I always forget about this lip gloss, and I really do like it. Okay, um, lip gloss applied directly to lipstick. Okay, I did that today on purpose just to show you. I have a thing with applying lip gloss like right today. I have on, God, what did I? I've put on a few things because I didn't, I kept on until I liked something. I can't remember what I had on at first. Seems like it was um, something really pink. And then I ended up putting on Myth. Did I? No, I put on Swan, and then I put on Myth over it, and then I put a little bit of this. And you can see where a little bit got on the applicator, and that drives me nuts. I cannot stand the thought of, I don't know, I always feel like it's going to change the lip gloss. And so therefore, it, you'll notice I don't wear glosses over lipsticks a lot, and I think that's why, because I w don't want to take the time. Normally what I do is I would take this out, put it on the back of my hand, take a lip brush, and put it on my lips. Therefore, I usually don't end up using it. So, if I, like the other day when I wore the um, Dior Plaza and then that rose bikini, see, they were the same tone, so that doesn't bother me because I know I'm not going to change the lip gloss or I'm not going to mess up the wand. So, that's and another one. This is along the same lines. And I was going to ask you guys, do you clean off your lipsticks? Like, this is myth. And like say I put this over the top of Swan or even, because a lot of times light lipsticks I like to put right in the middle of a darker tone, like um, even like Twig or something, just to lighten it up and to give like some highlight in the middle. Do you wipe them off the net, you know, after you do that so that the next time you go to use them they don't have lipstick on them? Because I do and then it makes me not want to use it like that again. And, I, you know, layering lipsticks is how you get the best color. 
and I already do that but usually what I'll do is take off the lipstick before before I put it something else and um, I think I would probably find a lot find some really good lip combos if I would just get over that hang up and just layer them okay and the next two I don't even have to look at my list these these are great brushes the one Mac 168 and 222 but you'll notice that they're unused and that is because they're white for some reason I do not pick these up because I cannot stand I've gotten over about the color the of wedge or um, pebble because I use the 217 for those colors so much so I've pretty much gotten over that but for some reason white brushes I don't tend to use as much as okay, regular so brushes that's that and let me see if I layering lipsticks I had that on my list too so I think that's mine I guess most of them pretty much apply to the lipsticks but I have lots of other like I was thinking the other day um, my carbon my gosh, it was in my palette, and for some reason it had gotten yes, cracked. I forgot what I was just talking about. Will is behind me playing Skylanders <laughs> on the Xbox, and I just turned around, and now I cannot remember what I was telling you guys. Oh, about my um, carbon. Anyway, it got cracked, and so every time I opened up my case, it, it was like getting some stuff everywhere, so I just threw it away. I cannot stand cracked or messy eyeshadows. Um, another hang up is palettes. For some reason, I like palettes, but I end up using single shadows more. For some, I guess I, they're just easy to pull out. And um, and then what else? There was one more. Oh, um, I think I brought this out here to remind me. Okay, this is a lip liner. Which one is this? Beige Natural. Natural Beige. Okay, say something happens and this lid gets missing. That will drive me nuts. I will probably... <clears throat> I would probably use it, but I wouldn't keep it out, and it would just drive me crazy. I can't stand it if there's not a lid or something like that. I would never just keep it out with no lid on it. Um, and I'm not even really, I'm a Virgo, so I'm a perfectionist to a, a little point, but not, I've had to get over a lot of it because having kids and everything. But um, anyway, so I'm going to do a quick casual, I know it looks like I'm dressed up, but I'm not. This, I was cold, and this jacket that I got at the Gap. It's a kid's jacket. It's so cozy that I wear it. A lot of times I'll just wear it around the house because it's just so warm. So I'll be right back okay, with my outfit so today. today. I have on um, just a, actually this t-shirt is from Gap too. It's just their basic v-neck um, t-shirt. I can't remember what they call them, but they always, everyday tea, I think. And then this is the little jacket from um, Gap last year, and it was the extra, extra large in the children's section. And then my jeans are the, um, I think they're called A-Pocket 7 jeans. And the shoes I have on are the ones from the other day. And I just wanted to show you how good they are for jeans like this. Because, um, let's see, they don't flip, you know, up so your jeans don't get caught on your heel. But they're just a perfect height. So, that's it. Outfit of the for day. For accessories, I have on my Sheila Fajal hoop earrings. And this week, I'm gonna contact her and see if there's any way that I can sell just the these, maybe the gold ones and the silver ones on my site, since a lot of you can't get them like overseas or whatever. Or those of you that have children, you know he's got to keep changing those little Skylander characters, so he keeps going back and forth. Okay, and the nail polish okay. is a real pretty pink, um, and it's called it's the SE called Mod Square, and I love it. It put me in a good mood last night. And um, these are the Red Cherry 43 lashes. It's the first time I've worn them. Gosh, when I first got them, I wore them one time and I didn't make a video, but I think this is the first time I've worn them on a video. So you can see that the um, they're different than the self-adhesive ones because they don't have a band. So you get to see like the eyeliner and stuff more. And I'm glad I thought about this. Tell me below, um, what tutorial you want me to do this week? Do you want me to try to do like a celebrity inspired? Um, or, gosh, I know a lot of people requested um, Friday's look and I could try to redo that. Sorry, my cats are playing. Bubba's actually beating up Chanel. But she's she asked for it. <laughs> She'll go right back for more. But, um, and I could probably recreate that. I can't exactly remember everything I did. Um, but I could probably do it, but just give me some ideas down below of tutorials you want. And, um, I guess that's it. So I hope you guys, oh, I did have a, I put on my, um, I thought this is a sign of spring. I put on one of my Lealena bracelets today. 
and um, it's the Python. And I think I I don't oh I don't I don't know if I have any of these left on my website. I know I've got like a real pretty um, black or brown one I can't remember, and then a gold one. But I have some more of these coming in too. Um, they're my favorites, especially in the summer. I don't know what it is. They're comfortable and they don't. I don't know, they don't make me hot or get on my nerves or something. I end up wearing them a lot. So, ramble, ramble, I know. I will let you go, and I will probably see you either tomorrow or Tuesday. Have a great day. Bye-bye.